What's up? It's Gladiator Gaming here today. We're going to be playing a new episode on this channel, hopefully. We're going to be playing some more than that. Now, right now, we're doing some tutorials. So, some tutorials. So, tutorial. so, today, we're just going to go through. Um, we're starting with this one. And we're just going to keep looking my way up. So, I played one game, got two kills, which I think is pretty good. Then I crashed. I did something dumb. And then, so, Welcome to part know, one of the basic tutorial. That's in mouse happened. aim mode, you can control. So I just point your cursor at the. Early in the morning, that's it. Sucks. Proceed to but the uh, waypoint. Anyway, Increase the throttle to fly faster. Increase the throttle to 100%. Decrease the throttle. Decrease the throttle to... Th you can see the aircraft's current speed. Oh, no, really? The current engine power percentage. Oh, okay. As you can see, the aircraft's... Increase the throttle until war emergency power is... Hold the button to continue flying with WEP. The web lets you fly at maximum speed. Each mission has its own goals and objectives, which must be completed in order to win. Press and hold the tactical map button to see the list of... Your first enemy is before you. Up Now you will need to destroy a mobile target, an enemy plane. You need to fire. Now your aircraft has started to turn towards the target. You need to aim the crosshairs at the lead angle indicator. Your Great job! The target is destroyed! Practice on a couple of enemy planes. The hostile planes are down. You guys are dead. While fighting, you will often encounter enemy ground equipment. Return to the original view. Your machine gun. Your machine gun now you need to blazing. steer away from the ground. The last enemy unit is destroyed. We won. Your tutorial is finished. Now you are ready for a real battle. No. So Tiger tank and two FWAs. Badass. Uh, that's not it. I'm not going to be too bad. Assault plane. Woo. Yes, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. IL2. Sterminic IL2. Oh my god, let's see. I watch each episode. Welcome oh, to part story. two of the it's basic tutorial. Cool. But, um, right now, you're controlling an attack. Proceed to the waypoint. Fighter and assault planes. The bomb site shows where bombs will strike the ground. To hit a target, you need to place it right in the center of your sight. The sight turns red when it is looking directly at the target. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I see it now. That's it. You've hit the target. But now you need to steer away from the ground. To quickly change the direction you're in. Notice that your plane carries unguided rockets. Since the rockets have low accuracy, it's best to launch several of them at once. Fuck. Destroy vehicles with machine guns, bombs, or rockets. All targets destroyed. 
fight victory. <laughs> just, just like the savage in GTA 5. <laughs> Bomber! The bomber? T. Oh, I, I, I don't know what point this is. T. Yes. Welcome to part oh, three oh, of the basic oh, tutorial. Oh, right now, you're controlling a. To keep themselves safe from AAA fire and hostile fighters, a -A -A. bombers fly at high altitudes. A -A -A. Typo, it's anti aircraft, not AAA. Anti aircraft artillery. It's oh. much simpler to hit a target using a bomb. Yeah, you can toggle between different sites with the toggle press to return to third person view. Okay. You can also switch to bomb site view directly. Oh. Drop your bombs on the airfield. Dead. The amount of remaining bombs is displayed in the upper left corner. Drop the rest of your bomb. One. Yeah, it's just a peaceful day on this German airfield. Ah, uh, nothing's gonna happen, right? Yep, definitely German. Yes, waiting in my plane. That's a good one. Great hit! I did so. Often bombers are a target for enemy fighters. Turrets located on the plane can help you put Use the fire button to shoot at hostile aircraft. Use the displayed lead angle to aim. It's a lot more easier. The enemy is destroyed. Your mission is complete. Horton HE112. I think it is. Or H O. I did really fucking crap on this exploit. Okay, battles. Do I get higher rewards by putting it in difficult mode? Welcome to part four of the basic tutorial. In order to take off your aircraft, push okay. your throttle to. D -d 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 the plane has started accelerating. Watch your speed. The plane has reached a high enough speed. Reach the marked waypoint. Field during mission. In order to land your aircraft successfully, you need to decrease the throttle to 30%. Deploy the landing gear. Direct the plane right to the center of the waypoint. Speed is dropping. In the plane has stopped. A successful landing. Let's go fast.
Welcome to one of War Thunder's training areas. Here you will learn how to control your vehicle. Begin moving forward. Follow the waypoints to the firing area. training target. Wait until the tank turret finishes rotating. Switch to gunner view. You can use zoom to get a better view of the target. The aim assist indicator in the center of the screen shows where the shell will strike when you fire a shot. Depending on your target's armor thickness, it turns red if the current shell cannot pierce the armor, yellow if it is possible to pierce, and green if your shell one of the best ways to destroy a tank is to put its crew out of action. Move the reticule over the central area of the tank. Now... Load it! When a shell penetrates armor, the X-ray window appears in the top... The enemy tank is considered destroyed. You have fired into the commander's area. Ready up! Great! If there was any crew in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Now, switch to third-person view. Another effective way of destroying, or at least immobilizing a vehicle, is to damage or destroy its engine. Move the reticule on. Most armored vehicles have their engines at the rear. Continue by moving the reticule onto the rear of the indicated tank. Now, switch to gunner view and fire at the tank engine. If the engine, ammo rack, or fuel tanks inside the tank are damaged, this may cause an exp- Good job! Now you have to complete a real combat ass- You can see a marker above the capture- Move into the capture zone. capture the zone. Wait for the marker to turn blue and for a message to appear notifying you that you have captured the zone. The capture zone's marker has turned. Capturing strategic points is one of the main methods of winning a battle. When one team captures more strategic points than the other, victory is achieved when the enemy team loses all Great job! You won! Now you're a true tanker! Yeah! And I would finish this tutorial in part two. I'm sorry, it could have been longer, but I had to go. I have to go. So sadly, this would be the last tutorial for right now. Of course, there's two, two so we're going to go tutorials. But anyway, guys, this is me, Glad you're here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? It's glad you're here today. We're gonna be playing some more tutorials. I'm gonna get this done, maybe we can have a little bit of fun. Not like that, because I'm not being dumb like that. Ooh, yeah, Panther 2. <laughs> that is so funny. Welcome to
to the second part of the tank battle tutorial. Please move to the root marker. The one the left? How it has, it looks like you're... German, what do you think? Oh, God. As you may have noticed in battles against other players, now, move the cursor over the indicated tank. This tank has its frontal armor facing you. This is the strongest part of a tank's armor, but you can still penetrate it wherever the aim assist indicator turns green. Find a weak point in the tank's armor and destroy it. Oh, shit. Awesome. Yeah. Now, move the reticule onto the other nearby tank. No, I'm guessing it's gonna be here. Okay, shoot it down like the turret, that'd be so bad. As we can see, the target is well protected. Fire off your current shell to load the new type of shell that you've switched to. You have switched to composite shells. These shells successfully pierce almost any armor, but have a lower destructive effect. Good job. Move to another cup of ear. Shit. view of your target, the fired shell flies along a ballistic trajectory while the reticule shows where the cannon is aiming. If you shoot at a distant object using the reticule, the shell will drop before it reaches its target. Dun, 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 dun. This means, fortunately, move the cannon so that the aim assist indicator is aligned with the target. When properly aimed, nice shot. Great job! You won! Now you're a true tanker! You said that like 20 times, man? Oh, what kind of German tank is that? Oh, the Germans put some freaking bitches. Tanker tank. Before you attempt to take off, let's review your knowledge of aircraft controls. The first one is the elevation rudder. It's also called the elevator. As the name suggests, this control is used for ascending and descending. Try it yourself. When you raise the elevator, the plane goes up. When you lower it, it goes down. I think that's clear enough. The second control directs the ailerons. Ailerons are used to roll the plane left and right. When you use this control, it makes the aileron on one wing go up, and the one on the other wing go down. Try it. The next control is the rudder. It is used for minor adjustments and when taxiing. Apply it carefully. See for yourself how it works.
now you are ready for takeoff. It's time to try your plane out in the air. The throttle lever regulates engine power. Position the throttle lever at full forward position. The plane will start gathering speed. Your speed and current engine power are shown as a percentage on the indicators. Watch the plane carefully while it's building speed. Congratulations on your first takeoff. Trust me, when piloting planes, takeoff isn't exactly the easiest part. Make sure you keep an eye on your altitude, especially when maneuvering the plane. You have a special altitude indicator to help you. Well, I can't make one of first person. Now for the ailerons. I've already told you that they are used to control your roll angle. You can even use them to pull off a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. I'm not even doing it, right? But I'm not asking you to do a barrel roll right now. Just roll the plane left or right. Excellent. Now for the rudder. You can use it to change the course of the plane slightly. In order to make a sharp turn, you shouldn't use the rudder. It's not meant for that. Now I will teach you how to control your airplane speed. Oh, your airplane speed decreases when you gain altitude and increases when you lose altitude. The ability to effectively convert one into another is the key to your victory in combat. The throttle lever also helps you control your speed. You used it to build enough speed for takeoff. If you drop engine power, your speed will decrease. Try that now. Increase engine power to return to cruising speed. Sometimes you need a quick, short-term increase in flight speed. This can be achieved by using the afterburner. Wait, no Accelerate the plane. You're flying. You're flying. Be careful when using the afterburner. It overheats the engine and might cause it to give out. Oh, is it actually realistic? If there's actually realistic, then it's actually... Turning the plane should be easy for you. To turn, use the ailerons and the elevator. First, you need to roll the plane left or right. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now you've learned the ropes, let's move on to the final part of our flight. Follow the marked route.
congratulations. You have mastered the main principles of piloting. Still have a long way to go, but you've made the first step in exploring the air. You have all it takes to become a real ace. Great mission accomplished. Lol. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me I have to restart. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, good.